Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to Watch You Want. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at one of the founding fathers of the great Alanko und Zuna house of East German watchmaking. You're looking at the reference 107035. This is the Cabaret. This is an icon in the Lanc catalog because it's one of the few non-round watches they've ever produced in the modern era. And having debuted in 1997, this black dialed platinum model is one of the watches that helped to establish Longa as the rival to Patek Philippe that it is today. Now first and foremost, I want to mention that this watch is a tribute to the Art Deco era, that period that flourished between roughly 1925 and the late 1930s before war clouds gathered over Europe and East German watchmaking entered its long, cold winter. But the bottom line is it's not a tribute watch. It's not one of those replica watches. It's not one of those formaldehyde-soaked things that looks like an old watch, slavishly devoted line for line to an old reference. This is more inspired by the Art Deco era, and because of that, it's liberated to include modern proportions, modern technology, and modern refinements. Now, if you've ever seen a uh, Le Coult Reverso in the Grand Thai case, the 42 millimeter case, this is very similar to that. Now, for those keeping score, my wrist is six and a third inches, 16 centimeters, and the watch measures 36.3 millimeters lug to lug, 25.5 millimeters wide. It's 9.1 millimeters thick, so although not an ultra thin, strictly speaking, it is very thin, and it'll play nicely with any kind of sleeve or a cuff. It'll slide easily under any kind of a suit. But what really sets this apart is how it's willing to meet your wrist halfway. You can see that the case has a pronounced camber to it, so it actually curves side to side to get that strap started and kind of lofted over the center of your wrist. Very beautiful, sits very flat, completely unobtrusive. Because, again, it is a traditional style, it's a little bit of an unconventional shape. Most people today, especially those weaned on oversized sports watches, aren't necessarily too familiar with how a, a non-round watch wears. I would say that this rectangular watch, this Longa Cabaret, wears roughly like a 40 millimeter sports watch. If you're familiar with something like your current reference Rolex Submariner, it, it feels about that fit. But what it's got is a beautiful distressed black leather alligator strap that conforms gorgeously to the wrist feels just as good. The bottom line is with its flexibility, it'll accommodate even a smaller wrist than mine or a larger wrist, and that's a great thing because this watch is versatile. Uh, white metal with a black dial is a powerful combination. It's kind of sporty. Although the watch is formal in shape and detail, it has that sporty combination that'll play well, not just with a long sleeve, but a short one. Stylistically, this watch would not look out of place in a casual environment. If you wear it with panache, this watch can probably go anywhere except the water. And the bottom line is, as a tribute to the Art Deco era, it works phenomenally well. It, this is a high-impact watch. Let's take a look at what I mean when I talk about rectilinear geometries and that Art Deco aesthetic. Now, Art Deco, like I said, 1925, we have the Exposition des Arts Décoratifs in Paris. really sets the tone for the entire era, and it kind of signals the end of Art Nouveau. Art Nouveau was bosomy, florid, organic, inspired by nature, natural forms with compound curves. Art Deco was inspired by the machine age. If you can think of the top of the Chrysler building, if you can think of Metropolis from the world of Superman, that's Art Deco. Strong straight lines, perpendicular angles, uh, rectangles, squares, trapezoids, triangles, all juxtaposed in glorification of modernism, of the machine aesthetic. And you can see that here on this Longa Cabaret. You can see each step from the case from the lugs to the bezel to the crystal itself, and then these concentric rectangles leading inward to the inner dial, as well as the double date, the panorama datum, the grand date that's iconic of Saxon watchmaking. Longa presents a studied modern interpretation of the best of Art Deco. The combination of these sharp diamond indexes with the bold applied white gold Roman numerals I should mention that they're white gold on the dial, as are the alpha hands, but the case, being in platinum, is exceptionally hardy. So you have finery here, precious metal from the outside to the inside, and two separate finishings on the dial. Now the inner dial, in addition to that panorama datum, framed by that beautiful rectilinear double frame for a double date, has a matte surface, but a guilloche and slightly reflective small seconds 
Now the small seconds do feature those concentric circle guilloche patterns that are well known in high-end watchmaking. What you can't necessarily see is the detail of that on the iPhone or how it plays differently in the light. It's slightly reflective and it provides a nice counterweight to the Panorama Datum at 12. This is an awesome watch. On the wrist, it wears like a 40 millimeter watch, but the visual signature is much, much larger. Moving over, you can see that transition from the side, those steps from the crystal to the bezel back to the case flanks, and you can see how the, the lugs themselves project outward slightly with a contrasting finish, polished and then brushed on the flanks. Gorgeous attention to detail. The Longa case finishing is as good as anything on their dials and their movements. And speaking of their movements, that is undoubtedly the star. Now, I feel like with Longa becoming an increasing component of the watches that I'm showcasing, I need an entirely new vocabulary to describe them. I know the francophone terms for these finishing techniques and these watchmaking techniques, but the Saxon tradition becoming so pronounced, so prominent, and so accomplished in the modern era, I really feel as though I need to know the German. So I'm just going to go with the English language equivalents and sort of split the difference here. What you're looking at is a gorgeous three-quarter bridge. This is iconic of Longa. It's something that they adopted from the German pocket watch era when you would have a three-quarter bridge covering your train wheels as well as your mainspring barrel. It's executed in what's known as German silver, which is actually a nickel copper alloy. This is interesting because it's uncoated, whereas Swiss movements are brass, plated with rhodium, very shiny, very silver, almost like this platinum case itself. This has a warm golden glow to it, and that becomes more intense with time. As it ages, it doesn't corrode so much as it just takes on more character. This is actually more corrosion resistant than rhodium plated bronze. And then set within it, you see these screwed in chatons. Now, chatons were designed in the pocket watch era, likewise, to hold the jewels so that they could be screwed out and removed without marring the bridges by the watchmaker. Now, today's setting technology means the gems can actually be set into the bridges without upsetting the material, but by retaining those components, it's both aesthetically pleasing and an homage to tradition, and Longa succeeds on both counts. Now, there is black polish present, and that is an excruciating form of polishing right here on the escapement wheel cock, and on the swan's neck regulator on the balance cock in which the metal actually reflects light in only one direction and from any other angle you'll see as I move it through the light there's a dramatic change in the intensity of the reflection on those surfaces so from any angle other than the one in which it reflects light directly it appears almost blackened very time consuming that's done with diamond paste now, the balance itself is set on a cock that's hand engraved, and this is a distinctive tradition that Longa has sort of reawakened in the modern era. An artisan actually carves each balance cock. When you're dealing with 5,000 units a year, you're talking about artisanal volumes. A lot of these guys work from home, and they actually deliver their output to Alanga Unsuna, but you can buy a little booklet from the factory that actually shows you the names and the faces and the signature engraving uh, symbology that's tied to each one of these artisans. You can actually figure out who made your watch and backtrack. That's something you can never do with a Rolex, and that's really something you can't even do with a Patek, an Audemars, or a Vacheron. And that's why Longa is often considered more humanist, a little bit warmer, a little bit more approachable, even in the realm of high horology, because it is just a little bit smaller. It's operating on more of a cottage industry level, although the standards of finish and engineering are world class. Now, everything else about this movement it's a 42-hour movement known as the Longa 931.3, so design work started in 1993, the movement and the watch launched in 1997. That's how much of a running start Longa needed to produce this watch, executed as you see it here. Mirror finish on the edges of the bridges, also a tight and even perlage pattern on the base of the plate. Gorgeous to look at, this one really rewards viewing under a loop. Even under 20 power, this holds up. And again, it's a pleasure to own because you notice something new every time you look at it in depth. But this is the side that you're going to see most of the time, and that's a wonderful thing. Tremendously versatile, a tremendously powerful two-tone combination. This is an example of why Alango Unsuna has risen to challenge the best of Geneva, why it's now considered not so much the Holy Trinity as the big four at the top end of watchmaking. Vacheron Constantin, Audemars Piguet, Patek Philippe, Alango Unsuna, Welcome to the party, or perhaps I should say, Willkommen. The bottom line is that East German watchmaking is here, it's here to stay, and it's absolutely top shelf. 
see why, check out this Alango Unsuna Cabaret on our website, Watch You Want.